This video shows the recommended way to mark a flexural beam for testing. Many laboratories mark beams when they are taken out of the molds because it's easier to mark a dry beam prior to laboratory curing. This surface is the finished side of the beam. Roll the beam onto its side in preparation for marking. Find the center of the beam on, its, on the side that will be the bottom or tension face when placed in the machine. Starting at the center of the beam, measure out three inches in both directions to mark the locations of the center third of the beam. Next, measure out 3.9 inches in both directions and mark the locations of the 5% outside the center third of the beam area. It's common to use dash lines at these locations once marking the beam across its entire width, which we will do shortly. From the center of the beam, Mar measure out 9 inches in both directions to mark the location of the support blocks at each end of the span. Use a carpenter's square to draw a line across the beam at all six locations using dashed lines at the 5% locations. Put tick marks at the solid third points and the support points on the side of the beam so they can be used to align the beam when placing it in the flexure machine. Roll the specimen onto its side. Using a carpenter's square, cast the two middle third point lines up to the top of the beam and put tick marks on the side of the beam to help align the beam in the testing machine. Finally, roll the beam again and draw solid lines across the top of the beam as it will be te tested in the machine.
The beam is now ready for testing.